I am Trek Trend Executive Editor, Allison Harwood, and I am in the middle of Morocco. I've traveled to the north gate of the Sahara Desert, east of the Atlas Mountains, to chase the gazelles. This is the 21st running of the Rally Aisha de Gazelle, an all-women's event that takes place every year in Morocco. Here, the winner of the rally isn't rewarded for going the fastest or clocking the shortest time. Instead, the goal is to achieve the shortest distance. Every day, the competitors have a list of checkpoints to hit, and they have to reach them in order. When arriving at the checkpoint, the person there records the odometer reading. To determine the leader for each stage, they take the distance traveled and subtract the, as the crow flies, straight line mileage. The difference in distance is the penalty for that checkpoint, and the driver with the least penalty kilometers is the winner. Participants here have to find their way through brutal terrain. Mildly rutted washboard paths quickly give way to fields of huge, sharp volcanic rocks. There are unforgiving rocky canyons with patches of sand at the bottom, silty dry riverbeds, and of course, the seemingly endless dunes of the Sahara. And they have to do this with nothing but a map from the 1950s, coordinates, and a compass. That means no GPS, no navigation system. The rally tests the will, ability, and strategy of more than 100 drivers to endure eight days of rallying over 2,500 kilometers, entirely off-road. The pressure is on the driver to get the vehicle through and over this nasty terrain, but even more pressure is on the navigator, who has to figure out a route without the advantages of modern technology. Of the more than 100 teams participating this year, only two are American. The rookie sisters, Amy Lerner and Trisha Reyna, and veteran desert racer Emily Miller and navigator Armel Medard. My name is Emily Miller and I race for Rod Hall Racing. and. Normally I race in the U.S. and Mexico, and today I am in Morocco. My navigator is four-time podium finisher and also a winner of the Gazelle Rally, uh, Armel Medard. I have several goals of races that I want to do and want to win in the T2 class or production class. I felt like it would be a good experience and a good prep before I do some of the others, which would be like the FIA World Championships of Cross Country Rally, uh, the Dakar ultimately. Uh, this is, uh, it's interesting. I thought it was going to be an easier race because it's all women and it's actually the toughest race I do and I think it's because it's not about speed, it's about strategy, it's about having a very, very well prepped car and perfect navigation and then managing your vehicle throughout the race. It's a, it's a great race, it's a great test. I love Morocco. I love the people in the rally. It's uh, pretty empowering and inspiring to be around 220 women who are willing to rough it this hard. One of our favorites in the rally was a Sprinter 2500 with a center section removed, bringing the wheelbase down to 96 inches. That's about half an inch longer than the wheelbase of a two-door Wrangler. We also saw plenty of pickups not sold in the U.S., and we learned that many of these were rentals. That can cost teams less than shipping a truck from North or South America. Day four, the weather was near perfect, and Team Miller Medard was making incredible time in the dunes, reaching all of the hard checkpoints at an amazing pace. We couldn't keep up with them, so we watched some of the other vehicles make their way through the Erg Chebi dunes, the largest in Morocco. Unfortunately, the dunes in the Sahara did in the short wheelbase sprinter. Both drivers were fine, and the van eventually got out, 
but it meant the end of the rally for that team. The Gazelles kept on running for another four days, and despite all of the challenges, Miller and Medard finished second overall. The team of Lerner and Reyna finished as well, albeit much lower in the standings, but nonetheless impressive. Covering more than 2,500 kilometers over eight days across the Sahara, the rally Aisha de Gazelle truly tests the endurance, will, and skills of each competitor. This is not an event to be downplayed as tough for a women's event. It's just plain tough. <laughs>